living in South Asheville and top neighborhoods in South Asheville. Hi, this is Elena Kavrigin with Nest and Dolls Realty at Realty One Group Pivot here in Asheville, North Carolina. If this is your first time on my channel and you want to know everything about living in Asheville, breathing in Asheville, working, playing, going to school, having babies, you need to click that subscribe button and hit a little bell to get notified every time I make a new video. I really love getting all those phone calls, text messages and emails from everyone who are thinking about relocating to Asheville. So if you need any kind of help, call me, text me, email me, write my information, it's right here. I got your back when relocating to Asheville, North Carolina. South Asheville, it's probably one of the most self-sufficient parts of Asheville, the whole town. It's got everything that you can possibly need from uh, the major hospital. It's probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest uh, hospital in the whole Western North Carolina, Mission Hospital, to numerous uh, doctor's offices, airport, which is more down south in Fletcher, all the stores that you can possibly need, Target, Lowe's, all those big stores, little stores, all the fast food restaurants, all the familiar stores, all the familiar um, places to go eat and shop, neighborhoods in all different price ranges uh, right here in South Asheville. So if you're wondering why would anybody ever want to live anywhere else but South Asheville or why would anybody want to leave South Asheville? Well, South Asheville has everything except for all things Asheville. It does not have Asheville vibe. It does not have all the great local restaurants that Asheville is so famous for. All the character and all the Asheville local stuff kind of ends at Biltmore Village, which is right in the beginning of South Asheville. And after that, more south, it's more of a chain kind of places, restaurants. It's kind of more on the generic side. I mean, anybody who's coming from a different area will feel right at home in South Asheville because you're gonna recognize all these stores, all the fast food restaurants, everything you know that you will see anywhere else in the country, you will see in South Asheville. But as a comparison, places like Wendy's, McDonald's that we have a lot in, you know, everywhere in South Asheville will not survive in a place like West Asheville. And I'm talking about the West Asheville along Haywood Road but South Asheville, no problem. So for some people, it's a pro, for some people, it's a con. Do whatever you want with this information, but that's just kind of how it is. As you start moving south from downtown, one of the first places that you will see is Mission Hospital. And like I said, it's one of the biggest, if not the biggest hospitals in the area with numerous doctor's offices all around it in, in that vicinity. And one of the first neighborhoods that you will see is Kenilworth. And I kind of hesitated to include it in the South Asheville video because Kenilworth is kind of situated between South Asheville and East Asheville. We got Billmore Avenue on one side and Tunnel Road, which is in East Asheville on the other side. And Kenilworth is kind of in between on top of the mountain with multiple entrances and ins and outs on both sides, on Billmore Avenue, on Tunnel Road, and actually on Swannanova River Road as well. Very eclectic, very historic neighborhood that's been there for a while. And it's really a combination of all kinds of houses, all kinds of styles, all kinds of ages. There's some new construction going on right now. Some parts of it are very walkable with sidewalks aligning the streets, shaded with trees, mature trees. And homes in Kenilworth range anywhere from 300s up to uh, over a million dollar houses that are very historic, that's been renovated. So there's a wide variety of homes, of home styles and ages that are available in Kenilworth. It's not your typical um, cookie cutter neighborhood. It's far from it. It's, on, it's, it's the opposite of it. 
Um, I think anybody can find uh, a home that will appeal to them, the home style or the age of the home. People who live in Kenilworth um, and who have kids will send their kids either to Asheville High School, which is basically across the street, across two streets uh, off of um, Ashland Avenue, if they live on one side. If they live on the other side, kind of um, towards Tunnel Road, they will send their kids to Reynolds High School. Great school districts, according to niche.com. Come check it out down in the description, all the ratings. But that's kind of South Asheville's first neighborhood that I wanted to mention because it's just, it's beautiful and it's eclectic and it's got tons and tons of character, unlike the rest of South Asheville. As you keep moving more south on Hendersonville Road and past Billmore Village on one side, and that is just basically um, a commercial area with a bunch of stores, a bunch of little local restaurants, uh, very cute, very walkable, historic place, uh, entrance to Billmore Estate on the other side, and then you start seeing all these side roads on the right that lead to the next uh, neighborhood that I was kind of hesitant to include because it's technically not even a neighborhood. It's actually a town. Biltmore Forest is one of the most established, historic, expensive, luxury neighborhoods slash towns in Asheville. It's not a gated community, but don't you worry. Beside such amenities as tennis courts, golf course, pool, country club. Bilma Forest also has their own police. So basically, they take their safety very seriously. Most of the homes in Bilma Forest are older, historic homes. There are some newer homes. There's even some new construction going on in Bilma Forest right now, but most of the homes are very historic homes. One of the most uh, expensive homes that was sold in Asheville just recently in the last 20 years had agreed upon price tag of 7.7 .7 million dollars and it was sold in Biltmore Forest. It was designed by renowned architect Harry T. Linderberg for the late Robert Lee Ellis, former president of Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Asheville and his wife Nan. So. There you have it, the most expensive, luxurious, very historic neighborhood slash town is located in South Asheville and that is Biltmore Forest. Biltmore Forest stretches along Henderson Road for quite a while and kind of ends right where Blue Ridge Parkway goes through South Asheville. And right there where Blue Ridge Parkway goes through we have another very nice, very beautiful gated community it's probably one of my favorite dream communities in Asheville and that is Ramble Belmo Forest it's one of the nicest most expensive luxury communities that has a ton of green space for all the residents to enjoy it borders Billmore Estate property and it borders Blue Ridge Parkway on one side and Bilmo Park on the other side. Beside very beautiful luxury homes, Bilmo For Ramble Bilmo Forest also has several parks, living well center with a pool, fitness room, things like that, staffed gatehouse. The community also has an extensive trail system that connects neighbors to the Rambles parks and amenities. It's got paved and regular trails for residents to go on just a regular hike or on a bike ride and enjoy, enjoy themselves. One interesting thing about Ramble at Biltmore Forest is that even though it's located in city limits, residents in Ramble, Biltmore Forest do not pay Asheville city taxes. They only pay Buncombe County taxes. So that's a nice perk of living there and I mean that's basically cuts your taxes in half pretty much so that's something to keep in mind to keep your costs down so far I've been talking mostly about kind of higher end above medium sales price kind of communities in South Asheville 
and there's so many other more affordable communities in South Asheville there's just you know it's hard to name just one or two if you go along Sweden Creek which is, which goes parallel to Hendersonville Road uh, there's plenty of other great very family friendly very established some of them more established than others it's just gonna come down to availability especially in this day and age when uh, inventory is super low but anybody basically who lives in South Asheville past Kenilworth will belong to TC Robertson High School school district and if you want to check out more about the school district check out the link of niche.com and the ratings for the school district one thing to mention about South Asheville is that the more south you keep moving the worse the traffic gets in fact South Asheville has one of the worst traffic jams in in the whole in the whole um, area I think a lot of people moving there for good school districts for availability to all the amenities and proximity to all the amenities and the roads are just busting at seams and cannot take all the traffic so traffic is bad but if you do not have to be in the same traffic uh, with the, everyone else picking up or dropping off their kids at school at 8 a.m or 5 p.m you probably gonna be fine but just kind of keep that in mind if you keep more south and get right around tc robertson estes elementary school area right there you will get to biltmore park that is another super duper cool community that is one of or the only one in in this area it's a mixed-use community actually i made a video about it a while ago check it out right here if you want just more information about it um, but it's a mixed-use community it has just like south Asheville, kind of has everything uh, it does not have a grocery store but other than that it has everything office spaces offices apartments condos regular homes luxury homes uh, movie theater uh, hotel restaurants pizza place coffee shop a gym you know what I mean? they have it so the idea behind it was to reduce traffic to reduce the use of cars so that people could walk and people who live there can't walk anywhere and depending on where people live and if they have kids or not they can actually walk some their kids to Estes Elementary School from Biltmore Park it's it's right there it's right around the corner so it's super convenient has everything you need it also has this many subdivisions within Bilmo Park so some areas will have homes that you know kind of look the same they are very similar have similar sizes similar styles, similar uh, price ranges um, they might have some smaller yards uh, but you know it's kind of one little nook another area might have homes that different style bigger yards and so on you get the idea and one of the typical homes that you see in Bilmo Park is something like this It is super convenient again to all the stores you can walk straight to a little town and get to any store go get some lunch go to the gym at YMCA go swim in the pool go to the movie theater by the way this is the biggest movie theater in Asheville so that's pretty cool even we go there sometimes who don't live there and we go and maybe have a pizza go to the movie theater go get some ice cream afterwards 
So very convenient and right there uh, at the I-26 exit. So you can hop on and off of I-26 if you're lucky, <laughs> if the traffic is not at standstill. <laughs> but a good thing about it is that you have an alternative, Hendersonville Road, to get back, let's say, to Asheville, to downtown Asheville, or go more south and go to the airport, for example. And last but not least, community that I wanted to mention in the South Asheville video is Ashley Woods. Although technically, uh, Ashley Woods is located in Arden, which is a town in South Ash or more south of Asheville, but I wanted to include this because it's a pretty neat community. It's located on the other side of Highway I-26 from Biltmore Park. Homes in the Ashley Woods average anywhere from 300s to 800s and it's a very established community family friendly in a great school district according to niche.com check it out down there cannot stress that enough <laughs> um, the only thing that kind of is hard about ashley woods just like about anything in south Asheville, pretty much is traffic it's located right off this two-lane road that can get backed up pretty bad because there's a lot of people coming from both directions so watch for traffic if you want to check it out uh, watch your GPS watch for traffic check it out before going before go leaving the leaving your house leaving your hotel and one of the typical Ashley Woods homes would look like this and that's actually a active listing that's for sale right now Ashley Woods, again, just pretty much just like anything else in Asheville, is located within just about 10 minutes to Bend Creek, to Blue Ridge Parkway, to the entrance to, of Blue Ridge Parkway, to all the trails, and to all the shopping and restaurants and things like that. There's so many more great little, big and little communities in South Asheville that, you know, I'd be here all day talking about them but i wanted to kind of overview some of their big ones i guess or uh, the ones that are popular to give you an idea of what it's like to live in south Asheville and what's available there if you have any questions about south Asheville, north Asheville, west east anything around this area feel free to reach back to me i got your back this is my contact information do not forget to hit the subscribe button and hit a little bell to get notified every time I make a new video. Oh, and one more question. If you could please drop it in the comments, send me a message of what you would like to learn more of or about in this area. I'm constantly looking for ideas. I'm listening. I'm trying to get your feedback and improve. So. Please, please, please let me know what you would like to learn more about, uh, about this area, what it's like to live. I don't know, like you just tell me. I will see you next time. Don't forget to check out some of the videos about Asheville that I created earlier. Hit me up with any questions.